What's up, everyone? I'm Nico Villanueva of Big Bang, and I'll be the narrator for today's video. Today, we're going to make a baking soda volcano. But before we begin to show how we made it, let us first discuss how volcanic eruptions occur. First, magma, a hot silicate mixture, forms in the Earth's crust, or inside the upper mantle of the Earth. Magma is composed of molten lithospheric rocks, as well as gases and water vapor. Since magma is lighter than the surrounding rocks, it rises slowly to the surface and builds up in underground reservoirs called magma chambers. The gas pressure then increases, and gases begin to spew out, causing the magma to rise to the surface. The gases then expand as the magma rises along the conduit and then swells up and explodes. It now moves more quickly along the conduit, and this process becomes unstable and turbulent. After that, the magma pulsates and explodes as it leaves the crater. Magmas then turn into lava, a fiery mixture of semi-molten rock, gases, vapor, and ash, which gets ejected onto the surface with tremendous force. Okay, now that we're done discussing the process of volcanic eruption, let us now proceed to making a baking soda volcano. First, we'll need some baking soda, vinegar, a plastic bottle, plaster of Paris, newspapers, a piece of cardboard, some brown and green paint, orange food coloring, and a glue gun, and also some optional toys for decorative purposes. The first thing we need to do is to paint the cardboard green and wait for it to dry. After that, use the glue gun to make the plastic bottle stick to the cardboard. Then crumple up the newspapers and use the plaster of Paris to form a cone shape around the bottle and wait for it to dry. When it dries, paint it brown to make it look more like a volcano. The next part is optional, which involves using a glue gun to stick some toys to the cardboard for decorative purposes. And ta-da! Here's how our volcano looks like. Doesn't it look nice? In this picture, you can see us carrying our model in an elevator, along with some of our classmates. We're here because we're on our way to the ground floor, where we'll perform our... As you can see in this video, we are now outside the LCD building, and some of our members are pouring the baking soda into our volcano to get ready for demonstrating our experiment. Now, it is time to show you how our volcano will erupt, so watch and listen closely. Good afternoon, we are a group then, this is our work. So, our work is a uh, miniature sculpture of a volcano. So, we know that a volcano is a vent in the earth that expels magma during a volcanic eruption. So, in this activity, we use recyclable materials such as use stamp bottles and use paper. And we use paper mache instead of clay to make it more sturdy. And Okay, so what happened to those uh, living organisms? They're dead. Mm -hmm. so, they died. Normally, in a, in a volcanic eruption, any life surrounding the volcano will be utterly obliterated, such as what happened in. I know this is an example is so tiresome. Like the Mount Minasubo in 1991. So, every living organism surrounding the volcano was utterly wiped out by different volcanic factors, such as pyroclastic flows, magma, and other. Toxic gases in certain the volcano during a uh, volcano. Very good. And that ends our presentation. Oh, for so our our experiment just ended, and now here I'm gonna interview some of our group mates so they'll know to know what they thought about our experiment. So, Eman, what can you say about our experiment? Okay, so first of all, good afternoon. Our experiment is all about. So our experiment is all about um, volcanic eruptions. So as you can see, 
there, but we already removed the things that surrounds the mountain or the volcano. But as you can see, the um, before, as you can see before in our model, um, the vinegar with the food color and also mixed with baking soda flow flow on the um, on the surface of the uh, volcano and also affected the life. The biosphere, as you can see, the lion bear was affected by the volcanic eruption. So that's why, as you can see, in real life, it is also like that when there is a volcanic eruption of yours, um, the biosphere can be affected, the places and the land formations can also be affected. So um, I suggest that all of you must take care and be careful when volcanic eruption erupts. We are watching again.